quite amazing. Middle of September, beautiful weather, lovely cool breeze coming in. And the valley, naked. I was reading that uh, in terms of home ranges, it's not just your locomotive force that defines it and how far you can get on your own steam, but perhaps even your perceptual range, your sight and vision of the land in which you live. For example, the highlands here I can see, the Kintyre Hills, the Cow Peninsula, the Arakar Alps, beyond the Glasgow Hills of the Fells and Braes. I can see Ben Vorlich, Ben Leddy, just fading into the background there between Dumgoyne on the right and Carnedin's Wood on the left there. And so on a clear day you can actually see, if you're in the Kilpatricks here to the north, you can see down to the coast, to Ailsa Craig, to the islands, to the ocean beyond. And so in terms of a place to live and and how you can garner that distance, that bandwidth of vision from its uh, gentle hills, it's, it's, there's no city like it. There's no it, in fact to call it a city is a bit is a bit wrong, I find that the word city is a derogatory term now that deals with an infectious, contagious, overpopulated and you know, generally wasteful entity. Whereas Glasgow doesn't appear to be that, certainly not in my mind. Uh, with the distortion, let's say, of its epicenter. It seems more country, more natural land than concrete, which is what I tend to identify with the word city. Concrete and walls and cages, if not coffins. But up here it's, it's the opposite of a coffin. <laughs>